Hi guys, good morning! In its truest sense, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So it's currently 4.23 in the morning and uh, I wanted to do a morning routine today. So this is like my morning routine vlog style plus how to be a morning person. I am such an early bird. I love getting up early. I love the mornings. I'm totally not a night owl. I'm definitely a morning person in its truest sense. So I thought this would be really helpful for some of you guys that want to become morning people or don't and are just interested and in, or just think I'm crazy whatever this is what I do in the morning so I'll kind of do my tips as I see fit um in like the morning routine and just like kind of the habits that I've built into my morning routine to establish being a morning person um I know I'm gonna get asked this question a ton and it's when do I go to bed so I go to bed anywhere from like 8 30 to 10 30. all right I guess let's begin so my alarm clock goes off at 4 a.m and uh I'm gonna be honest, not every morning is easy to get up. This morning was not one of those mornings uh, where I don't just hop right out of bed. There are some mornings where I just feel so energized and so good, and I do just get right out of bed. Um, but there's mornings like this morning where you literally have to get yourself out of bed. And I think that's like the biggest misconception is that people think that like when you're a morning person, you just get out of bed easily and automatically every day. No, it's not like that. But I also know that if I don't get out of bed, I'll regret it because I have things to do that I'm now procrastinating to do later in the day. Like I'm putting too much faith and trust in my future self. So I literally have to tell myself, get out of bed. And I kind of bribe myself with like coffee and water. And I turn on this light. I have to turn on the light or else I will just fall right back asleep. So I kind of have to force myself out of bed, which I did today, which you gotta do sometimes. So another big thing is I always make my bed. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And I also normally always put on music or a podcast. Uh, I didn't get a notification while I was asleep that any new podcast came out. I listened to Chris D'Elia and Joe Rogan. And you know what? I'm going to do a Gals on the Go podcast today. Because Danielle and Brooke are my girls. And I haven't listened to their podcast in a couple of weeks. Ooh, goal setting and resolutions with Adina Michio. I think that's going to have to be the one. But I want to hear Danielle too. Like, I want both my girls. Let's do getting back on track. Catching up. Like, seriously, so excited to be back on that 2019 grind. I love a good new year. We talked about that. We both did so many podcasts when you were apart though, so it was mm -hmm. like easy to catch up, we were just saying. Yeah, crazy. New year, new us. <laughs> well, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. How have you been, Good. In the morning, I get out of my bedroom. I just think it's so important to not stay in your room and like do work in there or drink your coffee in there. If you have a living room or like if you're in a dorm and you have like a community living space, go there. Get out of your room because your room is for sleep and for relaxation and everywhere else should be for work and to get things done. So kind of like create a separate barrier from your room to the rest of your house. So I'm gonna have a giant swell right now. This is a 25 ounce. So I have 25 ounces of water when I wake up in the morning before I have my coffee. And on a morning like today, I really want my coffee. So I'm going to chug this down. And a way that I like to drink water that just makes it easier is using a straw cap. And this is by, uh, I just got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below, but it's compatible with swells made for swells so i'll link it down below so yeah it's just straw lid you always drink more water when it's a straw so i'm gonna finish this real quick so that i can make my coffee but in the meantime i'll show you guys what i did with my to-do list so like i said i get out of my room i should put my head down i'm being disrespectful so like i said i get out of my room and i just hang out in my living room and i start to do start doing work so on thursdays i work with my personal trainer and today's Thursday, so I'm lifting with him at 7, so that means I'm going to leave my, ha my house at like 6.15. So I'm just going to get in like an hour's worth of work before my trainer. Uh, I always work out in the morning, regardless of, I mean, I don't go to spin in the morning. I always lift in the morning. I go for a run in the morning, or I go to my trainer in the morning, or I go to yoga in the morning. The morning time is like my time to do a workout, so it's either right when I wake up and I get to the gym around like 4 a.m., or it's around like 7 a.m. So a big tip that I have is to give you incentive to get out of bed. So the night before, I always write down my to-do list um, for the next day so that I know exactly what to do and I always give myself tasks to do in the morning, like right when I wake up. So normally I have like a little routine. I go through my emails, I do some things with Stride, but I literally write out my days like to a T. Like I'll show you an old day. This was Monday. 
and I write everything out like to a T. So I have my to-do list over here. Um, I'm gonna do a whole video on this by the way, but this is Day Designer, uh, the daily edition. So I write out my to-do list over here. I have my agenda over here and then I write my to-do list in my agenda. So I know what I'm doing when. I need to get started on my to-do list, but some other things that I do wanna say that I always have with me, I carry this stack of things around. A book, um, I am reading more this year. I'm reading this book right now, Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. I listened to his Joe Rogan podcast and it was super interesting and something that I just wanted to know more about. So I went out and bought his book. Um, and then the last thing that I always have with me is my journal. And this is more than just a journal for me. I write down like everything in it. All right, I'm gonna get started on some work. I'm just gonna do some emails, some late cancels. There's my phone, cause I need that. Um, plan out my social posts and then I got to take a shower because uh, I like showering before I work out. Oh, another thing that I do, um, I avoid social media. So I don't go on Instagram, I don't go on Twitter, I don't go on Facebook. The only reason that I do is if I'm responding to comments um, on my last Instagram post, which I try and do in the mornings at this time um, and then also right before I go to bed. So both. Um um, really enjoyed myself in Florida, you know, it was nice and warm, so I was outside a lot, you know, it, it makes you appreciate it for sure. Definitely excited to look at someone on you. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's like such a pro of fashion, fundamentals of fashion merchandising, which I'm really excited because I know all the girls that take that are super cute and fashionable, so that's the class I could dress up for. <laughs> I don't know, necessarily. I haven't applied to Grady yet, so that's like the journalism school, and that's what... That's where I would major in advertising, so I'm very excited. Yeah. And then right after that I'm taking my this is all Tuesday, Thursday. And then Finish this. Uh, it's 5.20 now. So I'm actually going to switch out my straw cap because I don't want that anymore. Let's make some coffee. This one. Just got me this. And it's literally me. This coffee is V strong. How cute is my Keurig though? I just got her because she's like new and she's so cute. And then I'm just gonna get coffee back in here. I just, I honestly am not picky. And I just drink it black, so whatever coffee I have. And then I just hit that one. And then it does its thing. Like I said, I drink my coffee black. If I'm fasting, I always have it black. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna fast today. I don't think I am. I'm not really feeling it. I will do a whole other video about my diet, fasting, macros, cutting, dieting, all of that in another video that's not this video. I showered and then I'm just gonna fix my hair because it's freaking kinky over here and I don't want kinky hair. So I'm just quickly gonna blow dry it. Yeah, and I don't know how to do that. Like, I just try my best. I'm not gonna put on makeup. Now it's 6.03 and I was planning on leaving at 6.15, so I have time. Um, I guess I'll like read or something. Anyway. listening to some music as I'm going to the trainer to pipe, pipe myself up. So I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, I just got done. I just got done. It's 8.30, so it was about an hour and a half of training and I am like shaking my whole body. This lighting is so bad. That was such a good workout. I normally, for gauge, I normally burn like 400, anything over 450. It's a really good workout and I just burned 656 calories, so that absolutely killed me and my legs like literally just now I tried to cross the street and my legs were like no so I'm just gonna drive home charge this and then I'll catch up with you guys when I get back home all right got home just took a quick shower charge this for like 10 minutes or so uh, so hopefully I have enough to do just to show you guys a little bit um, so now it's 9 30 and i'm just gonna make breakfast every single time i leave my trainer i'm just so motivated to eat like super super clean because i notice such a difference in my training with him when i eat super clean versus like when i'm a little extra carby a day or i have like a little cheat in a day like whatever it is so i notice such a difference and i always just want to be super good when i am done training with him so it's a very good midweek pick me up 
training. I'm gonna have eggs, a banana, and sweet potatoes. And while they're in the oven, I'm gonna go do my makeup and hair. I'm gonna do it for 25 minutes so that when I come back down to start making my eggs and stuff um, in 25 minutes, it'll already be almost done. I just listened to, everyone was posting about it, the Skinny Confidential podcast with Ed Milet or something. It was good. All right, I'm just gonna dry my hair real quick and do my makeup. And then I'll be right back. Also, I forgot to say that I'm gonna drink this well before I have breakfast. So I had, obviously, this well when I woke up. I had an entire one at, uh, pit when I was training and I'm going to drink the rest of this uh, before I eat breakfast. So this will be swell number three of the day. My goal is five. But then you can't feel, you can't. Okay, done my hair and makeup. Took me like 25 minutes and I just went down like a couple seconds ago to go take out the potatoes because uh, they're done. But now I'm done. But okay, I'm going to make my eggs. The potatoes came out. Pretty good. Um, your city. So that, that resistance and that reflection is also built inside that technology. I feel like, you know, the people that limit themselves, the people say, well, I can, I can never do more than that. Like, this is what my body can do. All right, and here's breakfast. So it's just um, an omelet with egg whites and spinach. I did three egg whites and a cup of spinach half of an avocado, and then a whole sweet potato, and I added a little bit of almond butter on the side to dip it in, and a banana. This probably feels like the longest morning routine ever, but I mean, I guess it is. It's 10.38 now, so it's getting kind of late in the morning, but um, I mean, think about it. Like, I woke up at four, I did work, and then I just worked out and ate and showered, and I don't have to teach tonight, so like, it's always gonna be a little bit different for me, and I know like I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm able to make my own mornings, and I'm so grateful for that, but I also like, I know that this isn't realistic for everyone, but I also know that like I shouldn't feel guilty because I can do this because I made I created this life for myself. So like you can do it too. I'm going to make a quick cup of coffee and I'm going to put collagen in it because I need a ton of protein after that session today. First, I just brew it like normal in my Keurig. I take vital proteins, collagen peptides, and I'm doing two scoops of this. Then I take my coffee. And I put it in there and I spill it. Then I take my frother. I got this on Amazon for like $10 or something. And then you just go like this. And you just get the collagen all frothed and in there and mixed in. It's easier to mix it when it's in a bigger jar like that. And then I just put it back into my mug. You can also just throw it in a blender, but my blender is in the wash right now, or in the wash, in the dishwasher, so I'm just not doing that. It doesn't taste like anything, it just tastes like black coffee. But now we head up to my office, and we work, so let's go to the office. And now I'm upstairs, and this is what my, oh my, they went off at the same time. And this is what my setup look like. So looks like. So I have my coffee that probably should be on a coaster, but isn't, because I'm disrespectful. And then this, well, obviously phone, laptop over here, my to-do list, and then my book, because if I get, if I want a break, I'm gonna try and read and not go on my phone. And then my journal, in case I need to jot anything down. Now it's 10.45 in the morning, and that's my morning routine. I think I've already been up for uh, almost seven hours, so that's my morning routine. Um, I hope you guys liked it, and just know that, like I said, it doesn't always take me this long to get going and get started. Normally, if I just wake up and lift it 4.30. Um, I get home by like 6 and then I shower, eat. Sometimes I don't eat until later in the day, um, but I get working pretty quickly. But like I said, I already did a lot of work today and today's actually kind of a slow day for work for me. I know my to-do list is like long, but um, I just gave myself busy work because I don't really have that much to do today. So I was able to kind of like take it slower today and enjoy my morning and get a killer workout in and really just nourish my body afterwards and give it what it needed. So um, I'll see all of you guys on Sunday. Love you guys. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.